So after 60,000 miles of charging to 100% every night, a Ford 150 Lightning owner says his battery shows not one single percentage point of degradation. Can you believe this? Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from Torque News YouTube channel. I'm your host and today we are diving into a story by Noah Washington that is currently setting the EV community on fire, especially on our website torquenews.com, getting massive traffic and a lot of discussion. I will have the link of that discussion in the description of this video. So please continue listening. If you have spent more than five minutes researching electric vehicles, you know the rules you're told to never ever charge to 100% your electric vehicle for daily use. You're told to keep it between 20 and 80% or you'll bake your battery and kill your resale value. I even have made several videos on that because that's the conventional vis uh, wisdom. Well, a Ford 150 Lightning owner just finished a 60,000 mile real world experiment that basically spits in the face of all that conventional wisdom he posted these results on reddit and they were so staggering that we had to break them down i will have an image also in a torch news article the link of which i will have in the description check this out i want to read you exactly what he said because this is a real world as it gets so here's the owner's story he says i list an sr lariat back in late 20, 2023 meaning the ford f-150 lightning long story ended up with an sr and i didn't want to be stuck reselling an sr so i list it anyway this thing doesn't have much range like 200 miles tops even if you if you charge to 80 percent you can get in trouble especially when you drive 25,000 miles a year so i quickly decided whatever i'm charging to 100 percent every night fast forward 26 months and i've maxed out my range and turned in the lease and purchased a 2020, uh, 2025 lariat er at the lovely zero percent for 72. i have an eviqo charger and uh, on a 40 amp circuit and i've been charging it at 38a to m to 100 percent every single night for over two years he says and most nights it hits 100 percent within few hours and then the battery sits at 100 percent for the remainder of the night i'm sure there were days where uh, the battery set at 100 percent all day as if i didn't go anywhere basically i ignored all the rules he says i don't let the it sit at 100 percent for next Extended period of time so i turned in the list and asked to run a diagnostic to check the battery health i wanted to see how much uh, how much it had degraded so i could decide how i wanted to charge my new er which i own i plan to drive this for at least four years to 100,000 miles possibly more so i don't want to degrade the battery at all he says so how much did the battery degree on my ford f-150 lightning not one single percentage point that's right the battery health is at 100 percent end of his quote now think about that for a second friends Sixty thousand miles two years of bad habits charging to max every single night and yet the dealership diagnostic shows zero degradation and this is not a story made up if you go to torquenews.com link that i will have in the description of this youtube video you will see an image he provided with everything really nicely documented now noah washington who wrote the article points out a few things in his analysis at torquenews.com that we need to talk about first this was the standard range battery that's a 98 kilowatt hour pack unlike the extended and the range this truck has to work a lot harder to cover those 25,000 miles a year so how is this possible the ford buffer most experts agree that ford is being incredibly conservative when your dash says 100 percent the actual physical battery pack likely still has a buffer at the top that isn't being used you're essentially charging the 100 percent of the usable capacity but not 100 percent of the total capacity of your ford f-150 lightning electric truck thermal management is another uh, thing the lightning's liquid cooling system is top tier it manages the heat of that 100 percent 
charge way better than older electric vehicles like the original Nissan Leaf, which had only, uh, which didn't have a liquid thermal management of the battery uh, heat. Now let's talk about the lived experience versus theory. This Ford F-150 Lightning owner proved that for most people, the stress of managing an electric vehicle battery might be overblown. Uh, now, the result, this guy was so impressed that he didn't just walk away uh, from the lease. He doubled down and bought a 2025 extended range for the F-150 Lightning model. So I've got to ask you, are you still babying your electric vehicle's battery, whether it's Tesla or Hyundai Ioniq or any electric vehicle? How are you treating your battery? Have you have, Do you have similar experiences or does a story like this make you want to just Plug it in, hit 100% and stop worrying about the map. Now, please head over to tortues.com to read Noah's full article and with a lot more details and see the community's reaction and the, add your comments there too or comment here under this YouTube channel at tortues.com. Please make sure this uh, to like this video. If you like the information I shared with you, subscribe to the channel and tell us in the comments how do you charge your electric vehicle's battery. This is Armin Arya from torquenews.com. God bless you everyone, and I'll see you soon in our next report.